course, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. The flooding Ohio River slowly going down, but the hardships remain. Many roads remain closed and families know that they have a big cleanup ahead. And that is why the Red Cross opened up a new shelter tonight in Mount Washington. It's one of several now open here in the tri-state, and we're told the Red Cross shelter in Alexandria has many people from Silver Grove. A state of emergency is now in effect for Hamilton County for the next seven days. County commissioners say they don't know how much the damage will cost to clean up and fix until after the river levels drop. Now this declaration could help the county get aid for flood victims. Ohio, Indiana and Kentucky have also declared states of emergency tonight. Night on your sides, Ashley Zilka was in Aurora today and she's checking the situation on the river downtown. Ashley. Yeah, right now we're at Small Riverfront Park and it is still a mess. You can see these signs warn of sewage and high water. And here's why if you take a few steps back here, you can see the Ohio River has completely taken over the main sidewalk. This is the area where you would typically see people walking and biking throughout the day. And you know what, guys, we ran into these same types of problems in Indiana earlier today. You don't really get to canoe around Aurora drive around, never canoe. Levi Davidson navigated throughout Aurora by boat. Some of these areas like this, it's about a foot and a half maybe. In other areas, it can get up to four foot deep too. Less than 48 hours after Governor Eric Holcomb issued a disaster emergency in Dearborn County, he came to look at the damage for himself. What goes through my mind is how can we help more, whether it's NDOT or uh, the Indiana National Guard or the DNR or housing. The flood is impacting a good portion of downtown. I think we're a lot more blessed than, than a lot of other places here in Aurora. The governor now hopes that the disaster declarations, like the one here in Dearborn County, spark help from FEMA. Making sure that we document all the damage, whether it's through photographs or written, uh, to make sure that we are in fact meeting that threshold should we um, should we be eligible for federal assistance. But I've had no sleep for two weeks watching water. I've never washed more water in my life. And back out here at the banks, though, we have seen some progress just within the past two hours. Uh, we saw crews remove some floodgates from at least one of the garages near the Red Stadium. Reporting live tonight, Ashley Zilka, nine on your side. And